What's up everybody, JJ here, and today we've got five unique PLA filaments here, and I wanted to go through and explain some of the unique PLA filaments that are out there. They are all PLA at their base, so they're all gonna be really easy to use, really easy to print on your base PLA settings, maybe a little bit of tweaking in some cases. So whether you're new to 3D printing or you've been doing it for a while, I'm sure there's gonna be one of these filaments that might pique your interest, and I will have links for all of these in the description down below. They're from a bunch of different companies, over a bunch of different years, some of these are quite old. So I just wanted to make this video to kind of show off some of the really cool filaments that are out there that are still really easy to print with. And since it is October, I printed all of these in Halloween themed prints. At least while I'm filming it, it's October, but you can watch this video whenever you want. And I will have some STL links to these prints in the description down below if you're interested. These vase mode pumpkins are super cute. So I think first we should start off with a baseline. I printed this baseline in Print Beds Black PLA, really standard PLA. It's got that light shine that's typical of normal PLAs, and prints great, looks great. That's our baseline. First up, we're not going too crazy. This one is Overture's Matte PLA in orange. I knew for Halloween I wanted to print some pumpkins and all these other things in an orange, and so a matte PLA is really great because it hides your layer lines. It adds just a little bit of texture to your prints. I think it just looks really good in some cases. Some cases you want your glossy look of standard PLA, but the matte PLA can look really good, and here's a great close-up to compare the two. Up next, and kind of the opposite of matte PLA, is silk PLA, but this one is a dual extrusion silk PLA. It's got both gold and purple filament combined into the same wire, and so one half of your print will be one color, and the other half will be the other. It looks really good in these really geometric vase mode prints. As you rotate them, they slowly rotate from one color to the other. I think it just looks so cool. And it's really easy to print with. I was kind of expecting to have a little bit more difficulty of it needs to feed in correctly, but you slice it, print it up just like normal. This one is silk, so I think silk does show off your layer lines a little bit more because those angles of your layers will reflect light differently. So if you're really trying to minimize layer lines, silk is not the best way to go. You would wanna go with matte in that case. But if you're going for something like this, this holographic two-tone color I think is amazing in silk filament. This next one is where we start to get into the really interesting filaments. This one may look like just a white cloudy PLA, but when you turn the lights out, it starts to glow. And this one specifically is Overture's Glow in the Dark Green. Now it's not gonna light up a room with how much it glows, but it is really cool in a dark room to see this, or I printed out all of these little ghosts and they all glow in the dark as well. So it's really cool sometimes if I come back down here at night and all of these little prints are just glowing around the room. It is really cool. Now it is important to note with this one, it is an abrasive filament. To get it to glow, they suspend something in the filament that is kind of abrasive, but it does glow in the dark. So if you are planning on printing a lot of glow in the dark filament, don't use brass nozzles. I would recommend just buying a single hardened steel nozzle. That one will last a lot longer. Single brass will work if you, I mean, I just bought one spool of this. I just know at the end of this spool, if I print it consistently, I'll just have to change the nozzle at the end of it, which is fine. But if I was planning on printing a ton of glow in the dark filament, I would just go ahead and buy a hardened steel nozzle and not have to worry about it. Next up, we've got two interesting looks at wood fill PLA. The first one is a standard wood fill PLA. It's got real wooden fibers in there. Again, this will be a abrasive one, so if you're planning on printing a lot of wood fill, get a hardened steel nozzle, or just plan on replacing your brass nozzles. It does add a really cool super matte texture. I would say it's even more matte and textured than the standard matte PLA is. And it does have a really cool matte finish there. A lot of inconsistencies to it because it is real wood that's mixed up inside of that filament, different than the matte PLA, which is way more consistent looking. So if you want just a consistent matte look, buy some matte PLA. If you want something that looks like wood, the wood fill is a really cool option. Now another option, if you do want that wood look, but you don't want to deal with abrasive filaments or clogs that could come with all that sawdust, that's kind of mixed up inside of the filament, it's Polymaker's Poly Wood. They have this special foaming agent inside of the filament and it creates this super textured, I think the poly wood has more texture than even the real wood infill. So that's super interesting. I'll give you some close-ups between these two so you can compare them for yourself. I really like the look of poly wood and it's not gonna wear down your nozzles, you're not gonna get clogs. That can be an issue with the real wood fill that there are real pieces of wood and if there's a slightly larger chunk in there, 
it could clog your nozzle. So if you do want to print a lot of wood fill PLA, you might want to check out a 0.6 millimeter hardened steel nozzle. That'll be stronger and more abrasion resistant. And also the larger size will prevent clogs even better. It is also really interesting with this wood fill, it smells like maple syrup while it's printing. It's got this really unique smell. I feel like most PLAs kind of smell the same. There's a little bit of sweetness in a good PLA, I think. Maybe I'm just crazy and smell too much plastics as they're melting all day. But there is a difference to a wood fill PLA, or at least the one I have, and I kind of like that smell. It's a sweet maple-y flavor. Maybe this is maple wood. I'm not sure if maple wood would smell like maple syrup. I don't know, it's just kind of a unique smell that you don't get with, I haven't gotten it with any other filaments I've tried. And last up, number five, is transparent filament. Now it is transparent, but it's not gonna be totally see-through. You're not printing a sheet of glass, but the filament does show very well. You can see my hand straight through there. It looks great. And this one I've had sitting on my desk for about a year, so it is starting to crack up on the top, but it's just a little trash can I have laying around. But I really like transparent PLA for the functionality. And my favorite function is being able to diffuse LEDs. Back here on my logo up here, it's, it was printed face down and the bottom layer is an opaque filament, normal PLA, and then I switched to this transparent PLA and that works to diffuse the LEDs really well. And so there's a lot of fun crafts and prints and things like this where you want to diffuse an LED and a normal harsh LED. I haven't diffused these on the side and you can see each individual LED. But I am thinking of printing some covers to go over there with this filament. Well, that just about wraps up five unique PLAs. All of these smaller pumpkins were printed identically with the same G-code. The wood fill I think is the only one that I think I should have tweaked it a little bit more and I would have gotten better results out of it. But the other ones turned out looking great and I really love having all of these in my arsenal. Just being able to print different things or mixing and matching filaments, mixing your transparent PLAs with a solid PLA can really make some interesting prints. And I will have links for any of these if you're interested in the description down below. While you're down there in the comments, let me know if you have any other unique and easy to print PLA filaments that I didn't cover in this video. Let us know, I'd love to hear about them. But anyway, that just about wraps up this video. Go out there, create something amazing today, and I'll see you in the next video.